Hello everyone, I have a project to share with you. I made this little box all inspired by Amador and uh, I made uh, a few of the seed packets and I made my own version of these card, uh, these little cards to hold ribbon or lace, things like that. And he did a box similar to this, but it was a big box. So the paper line that I used was the Country Escape, the Tilda Country Escape. And then I also used the Forget-Me-Not paper pad. And I got those from my Sophie Rose, that's Tutu Amy. And uh, so I'll go ahead and go through my little project here. Let's see, I'm gonna lower my camera just a little bit. Okay, so I decorated the box. It was a wooden box. Um, let me show you what it looked like before, if I can grab. I have, it came in a set of three. Actually, it was a set of four. Let's see. So it came like this, and I used the second smallest. It's just a, from Michael's. So uh, I covered the box with the paper from Country Escape, and then I have this punch that I found for, gosh, I think it was $2 at Michael's in the clearance, and it makes little doilies, so I cut it in white, punched it out in white, and lined all along the bottom of the box. Then I used a Michaels frame and I cut out part of the paper, put the little pagoda there in the center. And then I used my flowers from the Secret Garden on Facebook, Archana's Flowers. And then I made these little seed bead loops. And so I'll do, go ahead and show you the inside. This is the top note die and I just cut the little points that uh, it normally cuts out and then on the I trimmed it down to where the stitching line is when you cut the die out of chipboard and I covered the front and the back and this is just uh, some pink paper that I got at Michael's because your tilde paper is so precious I didn't want to just cover so many of these with the tilde paper so I found something that would coordinate with with the tilde paper and this flower is a pattern from one of the tilde books I think it's the spring ideas and then I just put a uh, button in the center so I made several of these let's see three four five Six. So I made six of those, and this is one of my cards. You all have seen this one from the Tilda paper as well. And then these are so adorable. Thanks, Amador, for the tutorial. And I'll put his link below in the description on how to make these seed packets. This was a lot of fun, and thanks for designing the the pattern for it and sharing it with us. And so this opens up like this, and he did show to add Velcro on that. And you can put either a card or wrap ribbon or lace, whatever you want to rack to someone or even for yourself. And it has this acetate window and that shuts or closes like that. And it's so cute, I love these. So I did uh, two in this, um, seed packet pattern that came with that paper line, the forget-me-not paper line. Let's see, I think I got this one upside down. And Amador, I'm not sure how you lined up the card in the center uh, to match up with the window, the cutout, because I had to like tape and retape and uh, use, <laughs> I used, um, um, painter's tape to line it up and if you have a secret let us know and then the other one was this pattern with the boots and the gardening so it all goes together with the 
theme of gardening. So that's my project. And I'll set this back in here. So I finally have another project to share with some of the tilde paper and the forget-me-not paper. And there we go. Hope you all like and thanks for watching.